My name is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. This video is dedicated to uh, decaying infrastructure everywhere. In this uh, video I explore Santa Rosa, New Mexico and Puerto de Luna and their decaying infrastructure. Here is the old Santa Rosa de Lima Chapel and Cemetery. If you lived in San Antonio, San Francisco, New York, Santa Fe or Albuquerque, this building right here would be restored back to its uh, previous splendor. They would add a roof and fix it all up and make it into a tourist attraction. But we're in Santa Rosa, New Mexico, where they aren't the wealthiest folks in the world. And um, a lot of these buildings, again, are falling into disrepair. And uh, because they're off the beaten path, nobody uh, feels they're uh, very important. So if you want to see this building, and also the building in Puerto de Luna that I'm going to be talking about in a few minutes, you better get there fast. I love taking pictures of these uh, edifices, this crumbling infrastructure. Here, Rudy Spider Sanchez has taken me to the ruins of the old Guadalupe County Courthouse in Puerto de Luna. It used to be the county seat of Guadalupe County for a time, but was overtaken by Santa Rosa when the railroad arrived there. Puerto de Luna went into decline shortly thereafter. The county seat was moved to, uh, again, Santa Rosa in 1903. The roofless shell of the county courthouse remains the largest edifice you can see there. No more roof. And in a couple of decades, it'll be all flat. Unless you know, somebody decides, hey, we're going to fix this up. But again, this is off the beaten path. People don't come to this uh, part of the United States very much. And that's their loss. Billy the Kid reportedly ate his last Christmas Eve dinner here in 1880 while being transported to a trial in nearby Las Vegas, New Mexico. He was in the custody of P Pat Garrett. That's Pat Garrett. Uh, you remember that story, don't you? The author Rodolfo Anaya references Puerto de Luna in his autobiographical novel, Bless Mi Ultima. You can go to the Santa Rosa Library and see several personal items of the author donated to the community. How many of you like color photographs? How many of you like uh, black and white photography? I'm a fan of them both, but I definitely have a preference to black and white. Here's an example of color that I uh, changed, manipulated in Photoshop, and eventually it comes out in beautiful, glorious black and white. What do you think? Here's a rear view of the uh, courthouse. There's a Volkswagen bus. How did that get there? I don't know. Somebody must have abandoned it. And uh, another color photograph. And then again, in Photoshop, I changed it into beautiful, aesthetic, lovely black and white. Again, back in the day, that's all we had was black and white. So I got used to it and I sort of like it still. Uh, if I had my druthers, I would buy a Arca Swiss 6x9 view camera. i get a 6x9 roll film back on it and shoot a bunch of ASA 25 uh, black and white film of these buildings. But that camera costs thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. I shot these pictures with my Panasonic Lumix G85 with standard kit lens. Came out very nice for a 16 megapixel camera. It's definitely not 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 megapixels, but it works out nice for 4K video. It's plenty, plenty res for that. Again, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous black and white. Here I pan from the top to the bottom, examining decaying infrastructure up close and personal. Yes, uh, you can uh, abstract the details by getting a little bit closer and looking at the uh, 
decaying wood, uh, the adobe that's uh, eventually going to become mud and reintroduced to the soil where it came from. You can visit this website. You can pause this video at any time to see the photographs and the uh, website. I definitely recommend a visit to Santa Rosa, New Mexico to check out the infrastructure. They have some excellent restaurants there, by the way. And you can also visit with my friend Rudy Spider Sanchez. So, gracias for checking out my video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, and of course, share. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.